Hey guys, Rip of the Rager. Hope you're having a fantastic day and welcome back to Stay Informed, my weekly gaming news segment where I help you guys stay informed. Pokemon Go has recently come out and it's proven to be just as good for shareholders as it has been for the trainers. Upon its debut, the company saw a bump in stock worth by 10%. That trend held steady for the next week, causing the company to experience a 70% increase in value. This is the largest stock value increase since Dragon Quest's release in America back in 1989, and that was only a 35% boost. EA has revealed its plans for Star Wars Battlefront in the coming months. A new offline mode called Skirmish is set to launch July 20th. This new mode will be a free update and can be played alone or co-op with a friend. The mode offers two ways to play, Walker Assault and Fighter Squadron. More free stuff is also on the way in form of new hut contracts, login rewards, and open trials which will allow players to experience the Cloud City of Bespin. Alongside these freebies, the third DLC, known as Death Star, is set to debut in September. This new DLC will bring more guns, more space and land maps, as well as new star cards. EA has also teased a new hero character for this DLC, calling them Long Awaited and Larger Than Life. Maybe this new hero will finally let the Rebels win one game of Hoth Walker Assault. Warner Brothers is in trouble this week for paid positivity regarding Middle-Earth Shadow of Mordor. The FTC claims that Warner Brothers paid YouTubers, including PewDiePie, hundreds or tens of thousands of dollars for positive videos on YouTube and social media prior to the game's release back in 2014. Before the game's release, videos containing gameplay were viewed a total of 5.5 million times. A non-disclosure agreement was set up for reviewers, forcing them to say nothing of bugs, glitches, or in any way criticize the game itself. The YouTubers who received money for positively reviewing the game only disclosed that they were paid in descriptions of the videos themselves, and viewers would have to click the Show More tab of the description to drop down the section in which their payment was noted. I guess you can't pull the wool over Sauron's eyes. Finally, our main story has to do with an addition to Overwatch. A new hero, Anna Amari, has been released to the public test realm, and fans couldn't be more excited. Anna is a marksman-style support with a biotic rifle as her primary means of healing her allies as well as hurting enemies, causing not only an initial damaging impact, but a small damage over time effect. Up next in her bag of tricks is a biotic grenade that increases healing received by friendly players and denying enemy players from healing until the end of the duration. Amari is also able to do some show-stopping maneuvers with her sleep dart ability, causing an enemy to fall asleep and be stunned on the ground for the duration or until they receive damage. And his ultimate ability, Nano Boost, is able to buff a single friendly target's move speed, damage dealing, and lessen their damage taken. As an Overwatch fan myself, I can't wait until she's officially released to the full game. That's it for this week's gaming news. See any stories that caught your eye? Leave it in the comments below. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, then do the usual. Like, subscribe, check out my streams, and I will see you guys in the next video. Reap the Rager, signing off.